What's going on YouTubers? It's the kid here from the Kids Corner and today I got a quick little update on the keyboard that I did an unboxing, the Logitech K750 for the Mac. And I have to say that this keyboard is absolutely amazing except for one flaw so far. Now what I do love about this keyboard is, let me turn it on real quick and I will show you, if you can see the little green, it's charging um, when I press this button letting me know that it's charging off of the solar panels and the ambient light there's enough um, to charge this guy up but what I normally and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it off because my Mac right there is connected to this so I don't want to be pressing buttons and have that doing something else but anyways um, I have to say that where I have this on the slide out drawer of my keyboard desk like the little drawer for that um, it does not get any light to charge and since the initial unboxing of it I haven't charged this um, at all and it's been a few months now and I have to say that the battery life on this guy is absolutely amazing. Turn it on, very very quick to uh, connect to the little USB wireless dongle that comes with it. It isn't Bluetooth, it's a 2.4 gigahertz um, wireless transmit so there probably wouldn't be any interference issues though a lot of technology now has 2.4 so just keep that in mind. But anyways, I like this layout more than the wireless keyboard that Apple in themselves um, put out because it has the regular full-size keyboard along with the keypad and some of your function buttons along with the three extra function keys. Now I don't really use them um, over here but I do use the ones above here. I definitely use the screen brightness and the volume a lot. Um, but I wish this keyboard did have illuminated back. Um, I don't know if it will be a feature in the future, but uh, that's the only thing that really irks me about it. And then the keys seem to be getting dirty. Um, now I don't know why, let me just double check my hand placement. I don't know why because I don't type that much on this, but the semicolon colon key, and I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer for you guys, right there. As you can tell, I don't know if you guys can see, maybe I'll, I'll rotate it towards the light. It's dirty. Um, I, I, I don't understand. Most of the keys are relatively good. The return is starting to get dirty, but that one is very, very dirty. And it might be, you know, scrubbable, but I, uh, I tried just wiping it off with a little screen cleaner that I had, and I couldn't get it to clean off. So anyways, that's the one bad thing. It seems like these keys can get really dirty because of them being white. Most keyboards are black, and you won't notice that ever until they get really, really grimy and nasty. But um, it's just something to keep in mind. The overall aesthetics is very nice. It looks great underneath my Mac um, with the, you know, that aluminum-looking plastic. Uh, the solar panels are pretty cool. And like I said, I have yet to charge this guy, so battery life is awesome for now. And I will give you guys another update. Uh, basically either when this finally dies or when I actually have a problem with it more than just the discoloration or the dirt on the keys but thank you guys for watching please stay tuned for some more stuff coming up in the future I do have a product coming in for my I, uh, Apple wireless magic mouse so stay tuned for that if you do want to see a wireless um, charging induction system for that so that's pretty cool Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.